Thank you. <coughs> well, um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Gabriel Armao, and I work as a system administrator for uh, Systematica. And uh, together with uh, my colleague Fabrizio, who is sitting down there, uh, we've been uh, the first to become Zabbix certified trainer in Europe. Well, except for Zabbix itself. Um, as I said, uh, we work for uh, Systematica, and uh, if you read a little bit uh, of the newsletter or uh, Zabbix blog, you probably know we really love Zabbix, and they love us back so much that they recently promoted us to premium partner. So, but uh, what do we do to be so great with Zabbix? Um, we, if you've been to last year's conference, you definitely know we don't uh, use Zabbix to make coffee, cappuccino, or pasta. But uh, we use Zabbix to monitor uh, system and application performance for our customers, uh, as well as uh, um, performance for the software we develop, because we are also a software house. But since everybody here loves number, let's see some of them. Uh, we currently have over 150 customers monitored uh, with Zabbix, and to do that, we use 10 different Zabbix servers. 56 proxies, 1,500 hosts, 30,000 items with uh, 15,000 triggers, and uh, 1,000 new value per second. I know it's not as much as other value I've seen, but uh, still not bad, I think. And uh, speaking of data, we produce 4.5 gigabyte per day for a total database size of 600 gigabytes. Okay, um, how did we reach those value and uh, those items? Let me tell you a really quick story. In the beginning, uh, we were offering Zabbix as a, a service for our customer, and um, we, uh, we had one Zabbix server to monitor all our customers. But uh, what happened then? Our customer really loved Zabbix. So, they, they started to want a local Zabbix server installation so they can play with it, so they can have uh, other customizations. But, you know, customers are also really, really demanding. They also wanted to keep our monitoring as service uh, solution. So, um, let me ask you a question. How many of you have more than one Zabbix server installation? Very good. I knew it. So you probably know what's the issue here. Now we have many Zabbix dashboard, okay? So not only one, and it was becoming really difficult for our control room to check each of them and provide the service. But what were our chances? As you know, in the just released uh, 2.4 version, it's not possible anymore to use master and slave configuration because, well, it's not there anymore. Plus, it always had some kind of performance issues. And we couldn't rely only on email notifications because it's really, really easy to miss uh, a very important email, especially if you get a lot of them. And I guess you do. Add to that, that Zabbix dashboard, even if it's really nice and it's improving from version to version, it still wasn't enough for our needs. So, uh, you'll see why, how we came up with our solution. We called it Zabbix Unify. It's a new dashboard that asynchronously connects to other Zabbix dashboard using APIs and show um, um, a centralized dashboard to you uh, with a list of, uh, uh, for example, uh, active triggers. So this is how it looks. On the upper part, you'll see a nice ring with an aggregate of all the trigger, all the active trigger of on, on every single server installation, together with a per customer um, view on the right. And on the bottom part, I don't know if you see it from the behind rows, uh, there is an aggregate view of all the active triggers on all Zabbix servers installation, together with some uh, details and uh, acknowledged messages and everything uh, you may need. But that wasn't enough. We are very lazy. And you certainly know 
whenever you make a change on, on your main template, let's call it main, uh, you don't want, and we didn't want, to uh, apply the changes to every single Zabbix server installation. So we decided we needed a centralized template management, a way to know if all the templates on all our server installation are synchronized with our main servers, and in case they didn't, well, we wanted an easy way to update them. And this is how it looks. On the left, you will see a list of templates, uh, which are the templates present on our main server. That's what we call our uh, central server. And on the right, you'll see uh, the situation of templates on every single and, and all, um, all the other Zabbix servers installation. So green, uh, green check means, guess what? Everything's OK. Red means the template is missing or is uh, different than the main template. In this case, click the sync button and the template is exported from our main server and imported into the um, specified server. Cool, right? But uh, it wasn't enough. So uh, we added some new features, like for example, uh, customize graphs, we just couldn't resist the opportunity to add some gouges showing uh, host informations. This is how it looks. And uh, uh, event correlation, that is what happens before and after a specified event and how many times in the past the same event occurred on a per customer basis or per host. But what's the recipe of Zabbix Unify? Uh, we used Python. We love Python. And uh, the backend uh, um, application server is Pyramid. On top of it, we use Zabbix Bootstrap with the uh, SB admin version 2 theme. Uh, Twitter Bootstrap is great because it also gives you a mobile interface at no additional cost. The glue between all this is PyZabbix, which is a great Python uh, implementation of Zabbix API. And uh, no database is uh, present here anywhere because no data is stored except for a configuration file with all the servers, with like the, the URL of uh, Zabbix dashboards. And because the data is uh, real-time and asynchronously got from every single dashboard and presented back to you on a single Zabbix Unified dashboard. What's the state of the art of Zabbix Unified? We are really, really happy for our creation. Our control room is uh, internally using it already. Well, it's been using it for a while now and we really hope we'll be able to release it soon to the public. The expected release date is 2015 January. Okay. Meanwhile, we want to focus on some additional updates and improvements, like for example, the ability to add and remove hosts and template association directly from the Zabbix Unified dashboard. And as well as uh, adding an interface for uh, our customers. Well, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any question, now is the moment, and there you'll find our contacts. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Um, I wanted to ask, uh, is it possible to bind different ver versions of a server, of a Zabbix server? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, right now, um, it's possible to use uh, 2.0 and 2.2 uh, version of Zabbix. Uh, initially, we also supported 1.8, but uh, we needed to um, drop the, the support from Zabbix 1.8. And also, well, you can use different Zabbix uh, version, but keep in mind that template importing and, and exporting is going to be uh, an issue, especially when the 2.4 uh, release of Zabbix will come, uh, will come out. Well, actually, it already did, because the, the template definition is different. My name is Eugene. What's about the performance and the latencies of the data? So 
that's uh, that's one of the issues. Uh, of course, you will need all all the dashboard to be exposed to the internet, or, or at least to be exposed to the Zabbix Unified Dashboard. Um, it's well, the performance are really good because we don't really get a lot of data. We just get like a, a list of events right now, and um, they are pretty pretty good. Of course, it depends on the link you have between your Zabbix Unified Dashboard and the other dashboards. Wait, so we assuming it's uh, near near real time. It's real time. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, what's happened with uh, item uh, historical data? Uh, if you change uh, item key in a new template, no, in template and propagate this template to service. Uh, that doesn't, I mean, that doesn't work, meaning that uh, since you change the item key, it will be like a new, um, a new item will be added. And you also have the additional issue now uh, of, uh, like, if you update the template and remove some item, then before Zabbix 2.4, you had the issue that the imported template will not delete the other items. But uh, we, like, we work it around that by saying, okay, if you need to disable, if, well, if you need to remove an item, just disable it instead. And that mm -hmm. kind of... I see, thank you. Thank you.